Let's pray. We thank you, eternal God, as we teach the word of healing and pray for the sick. Lord, I declare from the teaching to the end, your anointing shall flow. Your healing power shall flow. I declare somebody will be totally healed tonight. There shall be the manifestation of healing in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen and amen. My title tonight is you are already healed. You are already healed. If you are uh, standing close to somebody or sitting, tell them you are already healed. You are already healed. Now, this is a statement that may sound funny because if I say you're already healed, somebody may say, how do you say I'm already healed? I'm experiencing pain in my body. And the doctors are saying, I have this condition and that condition. How do you say, I am already healed? Uh, you may say, I am right now in excruciating pain. How do you say, I'm already healed? Look, you are saying so or thinking so because you really don't understand who you are. That's very, very important. If you understand who you are, you will understand what I mean. A person, you and me, as spirits, we live, we have souls and live in the body. Or let me say, a human being is a spirit, he has a soul, and he lives in the body. Please follow me good. Go to the book of First Thessalonians chapter 5. We're going to read uh, verse 23. First Thessalonians chapter 5. We're going to read verse 23. Where is Thessalonians? Do I have it in my Bible? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, we're going to read chapter 5, verse 23. The Bible says, and the very God of peace sanctify you holy. That word holy is a collective word. It's more than one. And I pray God your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible is talking about a man being sanctified in three areas, spirit, soul, and body. So a human being, a man, as is a spirit, he has a soul, and he lives in the body. Somebody will say, but pastor, am I a spirit? Yes. The Bible says, he that is born of the spirit is spirit. That which is born of flesh is flesh. So, the day you got born again, the day you gave your life to Christ, you were born of the Spirit. You were born again, born of the Spirit of God. You became the righteousness of God. Come on, say, I became the righteousness of God. You became, um, you were born after the Spirit of Christ. In other words, the spirit of Christ, the personality you partook, you took on the personality of Christ. Spiritually speaking, you and me have, have taken on or have put on the personality of Christ. He became us so that we become him. That's why the Bible says, for we know the, uh, for, for, for he bore our, for even though he knew no sin, he became sin, that we who are dead sin to sin should, be, should become the righteousness of God. Let me read it. Let me read it. First Corinthians chapter, chapter, chapter 5, chapter 5, verse uh, 21. He knew who no sin became, was made sin for us. Are you there? That we might become the righteousness of God in him. When we say we become the righteousness of God, 
it means we put on the image and the life of Christ. Now, please listen very carefully. I'm teaching on the heading of you are already healed. So when Jesus took our sicknesses and diseases, when he took our sins, when he took our poverty, he gave us who he was. We became a partaker of his nature. That's why the Bible says we have put on the image of Christ. So in the spiritual realm, in the spirit, in the spirit man, remember you and me are spirits who have souls and live in the body. So when the Bible says you are the righteousness of God, it is not talking about this physical body. It is talking about the spirit man, which is you. And this is the house. When the Bible says, by the stripes of Jesus you are healed, the Bible is not talking about the body. It is talking about you, the spirit, you, the person, you are healed. The person, you are healed. When the Bible says, you, you have the mind of Christ, it is not talking about here, the mind here. It is talking about the spirit money in you. In other words, you and me are complete in Christ. What Christ is, so we are in the spirit, in the spiritual man, which is we, which is you, which is me. In the spiritual man, we are complete in Christ. So, when God is talking about us, he does not address the physical body. He does not address the physical body. He does not address the outward man. When the Bible says you are the righteousness of God, he's not addressing the outward man. The outward man is not what God is looking at. When the Lord says you have you have you have the mind of Christ as I said he's not talking about this just imagine some of the thoughts some of us thought today some of the thoughts that we are running in our minds do you think those thoughts can run in the mind of Jesus no so when the bible is saying we have the mind of Christ it is talking about the spiritual man, spiritual man, the spiritual man inside as the mind of Christ, as the righteousness of Christ, as the faith of Christ. The Bible says, oh power, we have power that works in us. It is not talking in our body, it's in the spirit man. In the spirit man, we have the power of Jesus Christ. That's very, very important. You need to learn to separate you, the spirit, from the body. Separate yourself. So when God, the Bible, is addressing us and he says, you are healed, go to the book of 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24. I think now most of us know this scripture very well. 1 Peter chapter 2. Who his own self bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. When the Bible is talking about we are now living in righteousness, it is not addressing the physical body. When the Bible is saying by the stripes of Jesus we are healed, it is not addressing the physical body. It is addressing you. Now, when you come to my house, you come to my house, I stay in the house. The house is not Mr. Kansema. It is a house where I stay. But when I go anywhere I go, they ask me and say, what is your address? Then I give them my address. That, but that address is not me. It is where I stay. If they are looking for me, they will come to my address. They are, look, they are not looking for my house. They are looking for me. They will come where I stay, but I'm not the house. I am separated from the house. So when they say we are going to arrest 
Mr. Kansema, they come to my house. Not because they are arresting the house. They are arresting me who is resident in that house. In other words, when the Bible is talking about you, it is not basically talking about the body. They are talking about you who lives in that body. Please listen to this. So the Bible is saying, by the stripes of Jesus you are healed. It says so. It says so. And put a full stop. So you are healed. You are healed. But your house may be having symptoms. Now, when it comes to faith for healing, please listen very carefully. The piece of information I'm giving you in the coming 10 minutes will change your life. My physical body, if I want to know, to see my physical body, especially how I look like, my face, I cannot see it. Do you know you have never seen your face? You've never seen your face. There's no human being who has ever looked in his face. No. Somebody will say, but the pastor, I have seen my face. My nose is long, sharp. My nose is flat. You can explain yourself. You did not see your face. You looked in the mirror and you saw the image of your face. In other words, you have, your eyes have never seen your face. The description you look about you, if you think you are beautiful, you have long hair and so forth, it is not because you have seen your face. No. You have seen the image of your face in the mirror. You trust the mirror so much that you even concluded that I see myself. You believe that's who you are. And uh, you do your nice things. You put your makeup. And when you are going after the mirror is no longer there, you are confident you have put the right makeup. You are confident you put the nice perfume. You are confident you come the property. Not because you saw yourself per se, but you saw the image of yourself in the mirror. And you were so convinced of what you saw in the mirror and you began to boast how beautiful you look. But I can tell you, you've never seen yourself. You've never seen yourself. Your eyes has never seen your face. It is the mirror that showed you. You saw yourself, the image in the mirror. And you believed yourself, were happy about yourself, how nice the makeup was, and you just went very happy, and, and so forth, and so forth. You never saw yourself, you saw in the mirror. Now, we must apply that when it comes to the spirit man. The spirit man. You cannot see your spirit. You cannot see how you look in the spirit. When the Bible says you are healed, you cannot touch your spirit. You cannot see your spirit. But the word of God, or oh God has given you a mirror. He has given you a mirror. Through the mirror, you can see what you cannot see. Through the mirror, you can check on what you can check. Listen to me again. You've never seen your face. You, your eyes have never turned and look at your face. You saw in the mirror. In other words, the, what you say, I saw myself, it is the image in the mirror. So when it comes to spiritual things, you've got to begin seeing yourself in the mirror of the word and believe what the mirror of the word says you are just as you believe the physical mirror says you are. Very important, very important. When the Bible says I'm healed and I'm feeling pain, you know sometimes you can be so so dark, dark, pitch black, and in your thinking you think I'm I'm a colored. <laughs> but when they bring a mirror, a mirror, you realize, hey, I am not a colored. I am I am beautiful black because black is beautiful. 
That's why even if people who are doing fi well financially, their statements are in black. Come on. Black is beautiful. Black is, you can think your hair is very nice until they bring a mirror. So you cannot know your state by thinking. You cannot know your state by feeling. You cannot know your state by simply imagining. You can know your state by simply looking in the mirror. And what the mirror says about you, whether you like it or not, is true. That is who you are. But the Bible, the word of God is telling us that this Bible is a spiritual mirror. It's a spiritual mirror. It's a spiritual mirror that we can look in and see how we look spiritually. I don't have to see myself, like I can't see my, my face, but I can look in the mirror and see myself. So, if I want to know my health status, I want to check my health status, I don't have to feel, I don't have to imagine. I simply go in the mirror and look in the mirror. The mirror may tell me something that I'm not imagining. The mirror may tell me something that I cannot feel, but I'm going to believe the mirror that the mirror is telling the truth. Go to the book of James chapter 1. James chapter 1. The book of James chapter 1. We're going to read from um, verse 21. We're talking about knowing you, understanding you. Who are you? And the best way to do that, both physically and spiritually, is to look into the mirror. As I'm saying, you've never seen your face. It is the mirror that has informed you who you think you are. The Bible says in first, uh, James chapter 21, up to 25. The Bible says, Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and all superfluid uh, naughtiness, and receive with meekness the encrafted word which is able to save your souls. But be ye doers of the word, not hearers only, deceiving yourself. In other words, if you hear the word, you don't believe it, you think you are different from what the word is saying, you are deceiving yourself. Because you are exactly what the word, which is the mirror, says you are. Okay. For if any hearer, okay. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, is like a man that beholding in his natural face, in a glass, in a mirror, in a mirror, natural face. The Bible is talking about the natural face. He look natural face. For he holdeth himself and he goeth his way and he straight away forgets what manner of man he was. What kind of a man are you? You go in the mirror, you see you are a black man. Then when you put the mirror, you say, I am an Indian or I'm colored. The Bible says something is wrong. Because what the mirror told you is what you are. The natural mirror. The natural mirror. The natural mirror. The natural. But whosoever looketh in the perfect law of liberty, the mirror of the word, and continues there, being not forgetful era or the doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in whatever he doeth. In other words, he's saying, don't be like a man. Look in the natural mirror and forget. But take the mirror of the word. Take the mirror of the word. And the mirror of the word will tell you exactly who you are in spite of what you think, feel, or don't feel. Now, let's go into the mirror of the word. Into the mirror of the word. I'm talking about you. How you look, who you are, how do you know? You've never seen your face, but you can see it, your image in the mirror. Believe it, that's who you are. And the Bible is saying, this word is our spiritual mirror. So, though we cannot see our spiritual man, we can use the mirror and see. What we see 
is who we are. Again, we go to the book of Isaiah chapter 53. We're talking that you are already healed. You are already healed. Isaiah chapter 53. We're going to read verse 4 and 5. Now, you, we're not reading the Bible. We are looking in the mirror. We're not reading the Bible. Imagine like that. We are not now opening the Bible. We are opening the mirror to find out, to find out. The Bible says, let me read chapter 5. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisements of peace was upon him. With his stripes we are healed. The mirror. This is what the mirror is saying. You're looking at it. The mirror is saying you are healed. Come on, look in the mirror. Look in the, but you feel pain. You feel pain. You feel pain. Just like in the natural, when you looked in the mirror, you realized you are black. Even though you thought you are colored or white. You realize your nose is not as big as you thought. You realize your hair is not as done. But the mirror is telling you. In other words, you have now a choice here to go with your feelings or what the mirror is telling you. Now, being healed by faith simply means I look in the mirror of my spirit. Spirit, which is the word of God, and I believe the mirror in spite of what I feel. I believe the mirror in spite of what I think. I believe the mirror in spite of what anybody says. You know, people can flatter you. People can flatter you. They can tell you, you look beautiful. Your hair is so nice. And uh, when you leave, they are laughing. They are laughing. They are flattering you. No, but when you go back to the mirror, you realize what all people were saying about me. It is not true. My hair is not done. They may simply try to discourage you and say, you don't look okay. Your hair is not well done. Go to the mirror. The mirror will prove everyone a lie. Well, no matter what they think. That, now, the Bible is telling you and me, the word of God is a spiritual mirror. If I want to find out, am I the righteousness of God? I'm not going to look on what I feel. I'm not going to look on my behavior. I'm not going to look up on what people think about me. I'm going to look into the mirror. And if the mirror tells me, can Sema, you gave your life to Jesus, you are the righteousness of God. If I want to know if God loves me, I don't have to feel it. If I feel it, that's okay. I want to go into the mirror and you look and the God, you say, I love you. I love you. And I believe it. And I believe it. I go in the mirror. The Bible says you are already healed by the stripes of Jesus. You are healed. And I'm going to believe the mirror. Believe the mirror. Speak the mirror. Think the mirror. And begin to behave the mirror. The problem is this, brothers and sisters, you believe what you hear than what you see in the mirror. That's the problem. When the devil says you are going to die, you don't look in the mirror. You don't look in the mirror. It's like the devil comes and tells you, you, well, yeah, you, you see you have lost weight. Your face is so narrow. When your face is full. Or you have a narrow face. The, the devil begins to trouble you. You are too fat. You are too fat. Go and look in the mirror. The mirror will tell you my face is not fat. What do you do? You look to the devil and say you are lying. My mirror tells me that I'm, I'm, I'm alright. Now, we're talking about healing. What is the spiritual mirror saying about your body? That's the question. Go to the book of 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24. Then I begin praying for you. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24. You know, there are times when, how many of you, it, let me tell you this. If you are over 50 or you are over 60, you don't feel odd. I'm telling you the feeling of young goes on. Sometimes I feel like I'm 16. But sometimes when I'm feeling 16, I happen to look in the mirror. <laughs> then I'm, I say, man, I'm not 16. The mirror will tell you the truth. 
you can feel young. You feel young. But you, when you look in the mirror, you realize the skin is, is trying to show some lines. The mirror is not lying. The mirror is telling you the truth. If you are going to walk by what you feel, you will behave abnormally. And people will be surprised of you because you are looking in the mirror, forgetting and behaving differently. Here is what the mirror is saying about your health. And I'm telling you, look in the mirror of the word of God, who is on self, bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness. By whose stripes you were healed? The mirror is speaking. By whose stripes you were healed? It doesn't say you will be. You were. If you were, you are. If you were, you are. That's why the mirror is saying, if I were you, I'm going to come out of the, my mirror and live up my hand and say, God, I want to thank you. I see, I see, I see, I see, and I refuse to doubt what I see and you walk by what I feel. That's why the Bible says we walk by faith. In other words, we believe the mirror than what we see. That's what we call faith, faith in the word. Faith in the word is taking the word as the mirror of my life in spite of what I feel or I don't see. Pastor, have I ever seen myself spiritually? Yes, you have seen yourself in the mirror. But pastor, the Bible, if the Bible is a mirror, can it tell the truth? Yes. Why do you believe you know your face? You have never seen your face. You never saw your face. <laughs> yeah, but pastor, I've seen my face. No, you did not see your face. You saw yourself, the image in the mirror. No human being has ever seen his face. But you have believed the natural mirror more than the Bible, which is the spiritual mirror. And you behave good, behave nice, smell nice. I have white teeth. How do you know you have white teeth? When did you ever see your white teeth? You never saw it. It's in the mirror. You saw the image, but the Bible is saying we put on the image of Christ. How do we see that image? We see that image in the mirror of the word. That's why tonight I can declare that by the stripes of Jesus you are healed. Let me reverse. Let me refresh that statement. I can declare you that by according to the spiritual mirror you are healed. I see you in the mirror. I see you in the mirror. No matter what your body is saying, but I see you in the mirror. The mirror is saying you are healed. The mirror is saying that power of sickness in your body is destroyed. Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. The mirror says that virus is destroyed. Come out of that mirror and begin to give thanks to God. Give him God, give him thanks, give him thanks, give him thanks, give him thanks. Because the mirror tells you who you are and it cannot miss. I want this evening, you and me, to look in the mirror of the word. Believe that mirror. So what do you do when you look in the mirror? The next thing is that you believe it, you say it, and you leave it. When you look in the mirror of liberty, you believe it. You say it and you leave it. You just believe it. This is who I am. This is who I am. This is who I am. You may not feel it, but that's what who you are. Because the mirror does not lie. That's why this evening I said, you are already healed. How do I know? The mirror says so. Lift up your hands to the Lord. Especially if you are trusting for that symptom, God for that symptom, to leave your body, to leave your body, to leave your body. I want you to say this after me. Pray, pray this prayer after me before I pray for you. Say, Father God. Come on, say it like you really mean it. to say, Father God, I declare I have never seen my face with my eyes, but the natural mirror has shown me who, uh, who I am and how I look. I want to thank you, Father. I may not see my spiritual man, but I have the mirror of the word. And the mirror of the word declares 
by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. I believe it, my God. Believe it against my thinking. Believe it against my feelings. Believe it against what other people have said. Believe it against the doctors. I declare I am what the Bible, which is the mirror of my spirit, says about me. And Father, in the name of Jesus, I look into the mirror and I believe this pain in my body is a lying vanity. I declare I am not the pain. I am what the mirror says I am. I am not what I feel. I am what the mirror says I am. And I thank you, Jehovah God, because your word cannot lie. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Come on, lift up your hand. I'm going to be praying for you now. I'm praying for you now. Father, in the name of Jesus, put your eyes in the mirror. Put your eyes in the mirror. Let your mind see the mirror of the word against what you feel. Let your, your, your mind, your mind, your eyes, your spiritual eyes see in the mirror of your word and begin to see yourself. The sickness shall line up. That sickness shall line up. That pain shall line up in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And I pray, I declare in the name of Jesus, my God as somebody beholds himself beholds herself in the mirror of the word and believe what they see, that they are healed. And I declare the lying vanities, the lying symptoms in their bodies to disappear in the name of Jesus. I declare you pain. You cannot change the mirror of the word in the name of Jesus. I declare your body lining up with the mirror of the word in the name of Jesus. Be healed from that sickness. Be healed. I command that pain to leave your body. In the name of Jesus, I send forth the Holy Spirit to clear that pain in your body. In the name of Jesus, I send forth the Holy Spirit to clear that virus in your body. In the name of Jesus, I send forth the power of the Holy Spirit to line up your life according to the mirror of the word. Eternal Holy Spirit, I thank you for the healings that have taken place this evening. I give you honor and I give you glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, we thank you for the liberty of the mirror, for the mirror of the word, for we are what the Bible says we are. We look in the word and believe it. We thank you and we honor you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen.